Hey guys, today I'm going to demonstrate you one of the very common test route here at Bolton Test Center. So we are here at Bolton Test Center. Let me start from the car park. I'm coming out from the car park. I will keep telling you the name of the roads if possible. And then if there's any typical situation arise where mostly pupil they fail, I will explain you that as well. Let me just start from here. So I'm coming out from the car park and turning right. So be careful, this is the giveaway because on your right hand side there will be a roundabout. So you need to be very careful when you are coming out from the test center. So look right first, look left, nobody coming, then we need to proceed to the right. As soon as you turn right, we need to deal with this roundabout. So we are going right on the roundabout with priority to the right, nobody coming, so we are all right to go. So you need to be very careful when you are coming out from test center. So that's quite sharp bend, so we'll keep our car nice and steady. No need to drive more than 20 miles when you are coming out from the test center and you are turning right from the roundabout. So going nice and steady you're all right to drive like 25 ish here because this is bent but it's quite big bent if you drive too slow examiner can penalize you obstructing people behind I will keep you with the navigation navigation will also speak and then I will speak as well where needed through traffic lights left hand lane is going straight so we'll keep our car left hand lane if navigation is not speaking it's mean you're going straight same as when you are going After with the driving examiner yards, turn left, then turn right. and examiner is not saying anything you will keep going straight so we are taking next left we are on a Fletcher Street at the moment Turn left, then turn right. This is technically follow the road, so you don't need indication here. Just before the McDonald, this is just turn a follow right, the road. Then ahead. And this is follow keep the road left. again, this is not turning. So you just keep following the road to the right. And then we're going straight. Because we're going straight, we keep our car left hand lane. When our two lane going straight, you will keep your car always in left and lane until unless you're turning right. McDonald is on our right hand side. Traffic light is ahead and we are on a Fletcher Street. And I have stopped where I can see tires and the tarmac of car in front. Never go too close to the car in front. I'm covering this test route for my pupil because if you know the area, it'll be easy for you to pass your test. turning left after 200 yards 100 yards approximately one football ground so after two keep football left. grounds I'm turning left so navigation is saying keep left so I am in my left hand lane I can see my filter green light is on so I'm just going no need to stop here I'm on a Dean Road at the moment this is 30 miles road this is 30 miles 30 if you see there's no speed sign you will assume 30 miles until unless you see the sign there's a queue ahead when you're meeting in a queue so drive according to the status of the road if queue is moving like 20 miles you go 20 miles This is 
quite long test route, approximately nearly over nine miles radius. So I will try my best to cover all. We need to be careful. This gentleman, while reversing his car, he just hit the wall, I think. Yes. So whenever you reverse the car, always look back. Don't just check side mirrors. If you check side mirrors and reverse the car, you will also hit the car to the wall as that gentleman hit his car into the wall. Because he was checking his side mirrors, he was not looking back. So I can see road is absolutely clear, so I will keep up 30 miles. And there's a queue on my left hand side, there are so many parked cars on my left hand side. My apology, parked cars on my left hand side, I will keep a meter away from parked cars. Never go too close to these parked cars, otherwise examiner will fail you. So better to keep a door length away. We are on a vegan road at the moment. Traffic light is red, so I'm going to ease off my gas. So let the car roll. Examiner will mark you as a good eco driver if you are not doing harsh braking and harsh accelerating. see a school sign is there and 20 miles is written so that is 20 miles when these amber lights are on when school timings are on you will see these amber lights are on when these amber lights are on then you will take it 20 miles you will not go 30 miles I'm going 30 miles at the moment because that light is off at the moment so I hope you understand what I mean I can see 40 mile sign so I need to speed up from here to catch up the speed limit of the road but cars in front they are not going that fast so I will drive Part accordingly yards, by having right. two second gap one second one car two second two cars I'm turning right so I'm keeping my car right hand lane indicator right, right. always indicate by checking center and the right mirror there is no terminology exist mirror in driving always mirrors when you are turning right check center in the right mirror when you are turning left check center in the left mirror and whenever you braking check center mirror always see my green filter light just disappears even then I have few seconds to clear the junction so this is 40 miles road we're on a B mount road at the moment ahead keep left so this may go 50 so I need to speed up to catch up the speed limit see 50 miles sign clearly so we need to be 50 miles here after 400 yards turn left so 400 yards again so it's mean four football grounds so one football ground is approximately 100 yard. Turn left. So I am turning left now. So checking mirror, signal left. This is quite sharp turning onto Junction West Road. Junction Road West. So I'm turning left onto Junction Road West. 
very careful. So I can't see any speed limit here, so I will assume 30 miles until unless I will see any sign. still assuming 30 miles because there is nothing written if this is 20 then 20 will be written time by time but if it is not written anything i will assume 30 until unless i see after 300 yards turn left hill better to keep my car lower gear when you're driving the car down the hill you need to keep your car lower gear so you cannot lose your control Turn left. so mirror center left indicator left quite open junction nobody coming right hand side so I am all right to go see 30 miles is written on the road so I will keep up my car on 30 miles three cars before the truck I'm checking center right mirror indicator right after this Audi no one else is coming so I'm all right to overtake this truck I'm checking center and the left mirror just indicator left and come back I hope you understand what I did so I can clearly see 20 mile zone is coming so I need to be 20 before 20 so I am 20 that's it so we need to be 20 before 20 if that 20 mile sign was not written I could see these speed homes then I would assume it as a 20 mile road park cars and then come back closer to the curb about a meter away so I'm just following the road again at the moment it's quite a sharp bend here this is still 20 I can see this speed home We are on a St. John's Road. I can see speed change here, so I will speed up after this sign. Here we go. So I am alright on 30 miles because road is absolutely clear. approximately four miles and five more miles to go yet when road is clear you need to keep up your speed exactly 30 miles if you're driving too slow and road is clear then examiner can penalize you by obstructing people behind then he can fail you on lacking progress so they may fail you and send you back to me again for more practice After so that will cost you a fortune yards, so right better to do what I'm saying it will be good for you exit, then sharp left. so we are turning right on the roundabout traffic coming right to the property but I can't see anything yet so I'm slowing down to second gear look right I got the opportunity so I am proceeding right and then I'm turning left my traffic light is red so I have to stop just before this line 
because after this line that will be pedestrians right so I will not go into that where I can obstruct pedestrian crossing. We are back on a Bolton Road at the moment. <coughs> White Rose Pub is on our right hand side and we are going to join Bolton Road. We have done exactly four and a half miles and four and a half miles to go yet. Just quick glass to the right in case. Road. We are on a Manchester Road. So we left Bolton Road. We come on to the Manchester Road. There is going to be a big roundabout. We are following the sign for Leo Walk. After Walkton. 300 yards, cross the roundabout. Second exit. So we will keep our car left hand lane when we are going straight. So right hand lane going straight. So we will move over to the right hand lane. Cross the roundabout. This is very crucial exit. point. You need to keep your car right hand lane while going straight on this particular roundabout. I have to be careful from this cyclist as well. So we don't need any indication when we're going straight onto the roundabout. Keep Take your car left exit. hand lane because we need to follow the sign for A6 towards Walkden. Taking second exit, checking center and the left mirror indicator left and we are coming down so before coming on this particular roundabout there are two lanes left lane is going left and right hand lane is going straight and the right so when it is written on the road then you need to follow the sign like I followed right hand lane so same you will do right hand lane for going straight because left lane will just go left still on a Manchester road and this Manchester road is 40 miles at the moment I hope you understand what I have explained you on to that roundabout because there are two lanes coming straight on to this Manchester road left hand lane is going left only right hand lane is going straight most of the roundabout when you're going straight you keep your car left hand lane but on that particular roundabout, you will keep your car right hand lane for going straight onto the Manchester Road. I hope you understood. Although there are houses left and right hand side, but even then this is still 40 miles. So we will keep up our speed limit because the road is absolutely After clear. 400 yards, turn left, then take the second right. So we are turning left at the lights. My apology, after this pedestrian crossing, this main turn light we are left, turning left. Then take the second right. St. Helen Road at the moment and we're going to turn right. So we need to come into our filter lane. You can see these two lanes. Turn I'm coming right. in here. Stopping just before this white arrow. Let this blue car go and then I go. So we are on a Ploder Road. Ploder Lane. My apology. We are on a Ploder Lane at the moment and this is 30 miles road.
we have done nearly seven miles now two more miles to go before we finish looks quite wide and big road looks like countryside road but this is 30 miles remember don't try to over speed on this road so many learners they fail they think this is a countryside road and they drive more than 30 miles so you need to be strictly on 30 miles taking next left checking send on the left mirror dropping to the second gear it's quite big junctions we can manage in second gear so we are turning left So 30 miles don't assume this is a countryside road this looks like a countryside road and this is a countryside road you can say but this is 30 miles don't try to over speed and try to keep your car just inside the white line and away from the curb otherwise you may go too close to the curb otherwise or otherwise you may go too close to the white line if you're going too close to the white line, traffic coming other side into the bend, they can meet you too close. So you need to keep your car right in the middle of your lane. So we are taking next right, so check and send on the right mirror. Now I am alright to come near this Turn white right. line. No one else is coming, so I am alright to turn right. There are too many parked cars left and right hand side, but I still got the room. If I can manage by keeping my car a meter away from parked cars, I will carry on. Otherwise, I will stop as I stop here now because I had no room. So I will wait for this taxi driver to go first and then I may have a room. Yes, I can assess a meter away from these parked vehicles. Thank you for this lady. The how you dealt with the meeting situation. If there are too many park cars on your left and right hand side, at the end of the road, turn right. Then and you have no room because of oncoming traffic, you will wait until you got the room. Or otherwise, if you think you can manage by keeping your car a meter away from park cars, then you're alright. Turn right. Then take the third left. So we are turning right here. Navigation is saying third left, so that first, this is second, and this is the third. Third left. Leverage lane. Nice and steady. I need to keep meter away from all these park cars, and I need to make sure that I am meter away from oncoming traffic as well. If I have little room, then I will not take risk, I will stop. I will let other drivers go, then I will go. If I am forcing them to stop for me, then examiner will fail me. We need to have a little bit defensive driving in this situation. Because of speed hump, I'm going like 20 miles. few more situations to go. I am just a mile away from the test center before we finish but there are few little things to cover yet. This is 30 mile road but you see these amber lights. If these amber lights are on then we will take strictly 20 miles. But my advice is whenever you see speed humps no need to drive 30 miles better to carry on like 18, 19, 20. Have a good look on both sides of the pedestrian crossing. There's nobody, then go. 
don't miss this pedestrian crossing. You need to see both sides of the pedestrian crossing. Even if, even if there's any potential pedestrian there, you need to stop. There is a junction just before the roundabout, so I'm not signaling yet. I will signal after this junction where the taxi is turning. So I'm checking send in the left mirror and indicate now. Left on the it's quite big First junction. Exit. I can see right hand side nobody coming, so I am all right to proceed. And there will be a meeting situation here again, so I need to keep meter away from all these park cars. Why I'm keeping meter away in case if somebody opens the door, so I can save him. There is one more roundabout is coming and this roundabout can be very dangerous sometimes because there is a pedestrian crossing just next to that roundabout and there are two shops on left and right hand side. So there can be a very much highly likely somebody can come. See what is happening on this roundabout so that is why we need to be very careful. No pedestrian here I will make sure and then I go because of this chippy there can be a pedestrian After all the time yards, so we are turning right your destination. and going left into the test center you have reached your so destination. looking right hand side nobody is coming so I am all right to proceed mirror signal left straight after this roundabout and coming back into the test center go that is a car park where examiner will bring you to do bay parking and you can watch my videos in which I have already explained bay parking so that is what we have done this is a very long test route which is like just over nine miles and there are a few different variations of the speeds you need to be careful because sometimes you need to drive 20 30 40 and 50 miles I have explained all roads I hope you fully understood the main thing is on the big roundabout when we are coming on that big roundabout there are two lanes first lane is going left lane is going left only on that particular roundabout you need to keep your car right hand lane to go straight ahead on that particular roundabout that is what you need to remember and you need to be very careful on your speed i hope you understand what i have covered Better to subscribe the channel so you can watch more videos and test tools. Thank you.